Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Sons of the Forest game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to avoid using Reshade. Now if you're using this application, you can close it, you can uninstall it and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to disable XMP in system BIOS. So if XMP is enabled in system BIOS, you can go to your system BIOS and then you can disable it. You can always enable it once you are done playing the game. You can always enable XMP. Now, next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now over here, you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator click on apply click on ok make a double click over here launch the game from the game installation folder if that does not work you can make a right click once again select properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again select properties this time select windows 7 over here and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work you can put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimizations and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work you can uncheck all the boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security now if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow then click on add and allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder so open c drive if the game is installed in c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder open the common folder now over here open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open once the game is added over here now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder so open program files x86 steam folder steam apps folder common and then open the game folder select this exe file click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now click on ok and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb 
so 116 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 One. now click on set over here then click on OK OK apply OK OK now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 you have to download x86 and x64 both the file and then run both the exe file So first of all, run x86 or x64. So you have to run both the file that is x64 and x86. In my case, I've already installed it. So it's telling me to restart my computer. Uh, please ignore this error. In your case, it will, it will install it. So install both x86 and x64 and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties and over here you will see an option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then launch the game next step is to close other overlay application so if you have discord running close discord if you have geforce experience running close geforce experience so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner or reva tuner or any overclocking application so suppose if you have msi afterburner running then you can simply close msi afterburner so you can close it from here make a right click and then click on close if you have reva tuner running over here close reva tuner so close all the overclocking application also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted but make sure that you put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services first then click on disable all then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to try dx12 or dx11 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties and in the launch option type in dash dx11 now launch the game if that does not work make a right click and this time type in dash dx12 now launch the game and then check if that does not work you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to rename the save folder and when you rename the save game folder this will create a new save file and the game will start from scratch so to rename save game files open file explorer so once you open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see 
app data folder open app data folder open local low folder and over here you will see end night folder open this folder here you can see sons of the forest folder make a right click and then you can rename it sons of the forest dot old whatever you want you can rename it now once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even delete the save game files but you will lose all the game progress so you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the save game files and then after you delete it now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select the right product type for me it's ge force and then select the right product series select your series over here and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search now scroll down the latest geforce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.52 so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete you have to run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box put a check on custom select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and first of all it will uninstall the old driver and then it will do a clean installation of the new driver and after that restart your computer restart is a must and then launch the game now the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification you can launch the game now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you're not using these devices disconnect it also if you have any kind of usb adapter which you're not using connected to the computer disconnected disconnect additional controller connected to the computer try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it including all your browsers so make sure that you close all the third party application and browser also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to update your windows to the latest version now this is important so open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here now restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to update your system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo Len go to lenovo website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available now before you update the system bios make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update you can log into the computer and then launch the game now the next step is to you can try window mode set dls if you're, if you're using dlss set it to quality lower down graphics settings so if you are able to launch the game launch the game if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step so launch the game if you can now once you are in the game uh, go to options and then go to display now over here if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower it down now if this is set to full screen you can try window mode and then check vsync i have disabled you can disable the vsync and then check apply the settings and then go to graphics over here now if the quality qual quality preset if this is set to ultra you can set it to high you can even go for medium now scroll down now here you can see fog quality you can set it to low and here you can see clouds you can set it to low scroll down and here you can see water you can set it to low again this one low ultra texture resolution you can set it to high or you can even go for medium now if you are selecting dynamic resolution as dlss in that case you can set it to quality 
now if you're using fsr like fsr 3 then you can set it to quality so if you're using dynamic resolution you can set it to quality now scroll down now once you can even disable motion blur if you want and then apply the settings and then check the performance now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so you can uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to another drive in that case you can install the game to c drive and then launch the game now if the game is already installed to c drive like if you have already installed the game in c drive then you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel